friends welcome back to my channel today i am going to discuss about palatograms j oakley calls in 1871 was the first to use palatograms according to gpt9 the palatogram is defined as a graphic representation of the area of the palate contacted by the tongue during a specified activity usually speech let's discuss what are the indications of the palatogram to analyze and correction of the problems in existing dentures to determine the correct thickness and also helps in contouring of the palate the evaluation of defective speech in disabled and in geriatric patients in the existing denture and in implant supported maxillary denture there is deviation from the normal contour of the palate due to reduced intraoral space what are the recording media used for records such palatograms impression waxes are used gypsum products can be used then talc powder it is non scented then pressure indicating media so these are the various recording media used okay and the process is as follows okay here to protect the subject one should use latex type of gloves and surgical mask then mix this or mix the olive oil and the activated charcoal powder then apply this mixture to speaker's whole tongue with a paint brush ask the speaker to produce a word that contains the target sound and the word should not include any other sounds that may contact with the palate and use a mirror that is preferably a sterilized intra oral mirror and it's place inside the speaker's mouth at a 45 degree angle with respect to the plane of the teeth use a camera to photograph the mirror's reflection of the place of articulation depicted by the imprint so here it is a mirror and here it is a video camera okay to photograph the mirror's reflection of the place of the articulation depicted by the imprint if a video camera is used the image can be transferred directly to a computer for further processing once the image has been recorded have the speaker rinse out his or her mouth with lemon juice in water okay or lemonade so these are the pictures showing palatogram as well as lingogram This is the picture showing the palatogram of vowels and consonants. It is a diagrammatic representation of palatogram of vowels and consonants. So coming to the electropalatography, it's a technique used to monitor the contacts between tongue and hard palate, particularly during articulation and speech. Here. A custom-made artificial palate is molded to fit against speaker's hard palate, and this artificial palate contains electrodes exposed to the lingual surface. Okay, here these are the electrodes which are exposed to lingual surface. When the contact occurs between the tongue surface and any of the electrodes, particularly between lateral margins of the tongue. and the borders of the hard palate then electronic signals are sent to the external processing unit okay here these are the epg wires this is the epg palate okay and here it is the signals electronic signals here it is the computer display okay this is the lingograph unit and these are the epg wires and this is the epg palate and here it is the signals okay when the contact occurs then the electronic signals are sent to the external processing unit this electropalatography which provides dynamic real time visual feedback of the location and timing of tongue contacts with the hard palate and this procedure can record details of tongue activity during speech and it can provide direct articulatory information that children can use in therapy to monitor 
and improve their articulation patterns. Visual feedback is very important in the success of treating deaf children. Okay. So when the electrography is used for speech research, then the data from tongue palate contact is sampled by the controlling computer at up to 100 frames per second. In the early days, when the digital displays were less um, ubiquitous and uh, more limited, the data was printed out on paper for analysis. So here it is an example for a printout. Okay, where the sequence runs from top to bottom, and uh, the O symbol indicates. So the this symbol which indicates contact. And this symbol indicates no contact. Okay. So in the 344, here it is 344, it shows alveolar closure, which is complete. Okay. And here it is uh, at frame 350, there is a complete velar closure. Okay. The alveolar closure is released at 351. Here it is alveolar release. Linguograph, it is a portable electropalatography system which monitors tongue contact with the heart palate during speech. Electropalatography provides direct articulatory information which can be used to study or improve articulation patterns. Here it is a window software. It is easy to use. It provides an ideal introduction to electropalatography that is lingua view 3D. So, coming to the video. The computer animation and 3D modeling techniques to illustrate where the tongue touches the heart palate during speech. The 3D model consists of tongue, heart palate, teeth and lower jaw. The transparency of these articulators can be adjusted to reveal hidden structures and the model can be rotated 360 degree. The figure below illustrates 6 3D tongue palate contact shapes observed in normal English speakers when producing lingual consonants. They are alveolar stop, alveolar root, this is post alveolar root, double alveolar velar, velar stop and apical. Coming to electromagnetic articulography, here 
the sensor cords are placed on the tongue and other parts of the mouth to measure their position and movement during speech and solvay. Okay. And what are the clinical significance of such palatograms? In case of missing anterior teeth and in cleft palate patients and also the patients with pharyngeal defects. To the conclusion, the initial deviations from natural speech soon after prosthetic rehabilitation is quite a normal occurrence. And thus for better comparison, pre-treatment speech assessment is necessary. Patients' adaptability should be improved by conditioning them about such immediate speech abrasions and when encountered, they ought to be justifiably corrected. Palatogram plays an indispensable diagnostic role in identifying such discrepancies and verification of the corrected palatal contours. Being an easy, simple and inexpensive technique, it is very useful in patients with speech difficulties of complete denture patients. That's all for today's lecture. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe for more videos.